Okay, boys and girls, in this video we're going to be looking at candidate E. Now this one, um, you could probably tell, not just from the amounts that they've written, but uh, how they've actually organised their thinking, their thoughts, uh, and what they actually say is much better than the first two that we looked at in the previous video. Um, the template is the same, you know, the same uh, Word document that you will be uh, given on the day of the exam. And they've used the three um, bullet points here to structure the thinking, but they have specified them. There's nothing wrong with actually having these titles to give you an idea or to keep you on track as to what you should talk about in this evaluation. So this person here, started off by audience. Um, let's have a quick read through here. In the client brief, it says that the audience was local people, and look at that, they're quoting it as well. Clarifying to the examiner, they understood that, they got that, it wasn't just something they you know, skimmed through and didn't have a, a second thought over. Therefore, I included text such as near you, and including you, where I could to imply that the viewer of the website reflected around them. The important, uh, importance of this is because the website was made to attract customers, therefore making them feel like they are meant to go. It also states that it's needed to attract people who are interested in music, as well as buying, making and listening to music. Therefore, I include a lot of images reflecting around music, as well as adding more text about music to make the viewer want to come to and from too. The importance of this is because the website is wanting, to, uh, wanting people to go, I also add a medium amount of text. This is because the audience is for local people and because Impromptu is a retro shop, it's reflecting to the older generation, therefore more text is needed than pictures. I also do not need to uh, color the text, so I kept that there, uh, which is the color that they use, which is the black. Now, you can see there's a lot of information that they've basically taken away from the, uh, the client brief, and they're proving that they understood it. Also, after each point, he or she is talking about the importance. This is the reason, yeah? This second bullet point, justifying. So these two really go hand in hand. You say what, you say why. You say what, then you say why. So this person talking about the kind of words they've used and why. They're talking about how much text they've used and why. And the why links back to the audience, okay? So keep that in mind. They've also made re reference to the font of the text. So there's three mentions of text there. The kinds of words that, uh, are linked to the text, the amount of words is linked to the text, the amount, as well as the colour of the, uh, the word. The next section they uh, they mentioned is the overall. It states that four pages needed to be added overall. Uh, home page, link to the merchandise, music page and DJ page. This is on the exam or the client brief very, very clearly. Again, they're just taking it from there. I was successful in this. Okay, so that you say, or they've said, I have done this. And it says in the client brief, in the client brief that the pages had to be at a resolution of 1024 by 768. So depending on what exam paper you're looking at, you're going to have to look at the pages that they asked for, as well as what they wanted those pages to be. And in some instances, they, they, they are quite happy and they accept scrolling websites. And sometimes they don't. So you have to make reference to those points, depending on what they say in the brief. Uh, I was successful in this by getting the information required from the info, so that there's explain where they got it from. I did edit some of the text and make it shorter as well as to reflect more of the view and music itself. Again, I do mention this in lessons time and time again and in the videos. Feel free to edit some of the text. You keep whatever they mention specifically, anything else you can add to, change, you know, to your heart's content. If it makes it sound better and look better, by all means, go for it. Doing this made the website more enjoyable. Look at that. That's the why again. Linking it back to the second bullet point, which is justifying it. Enjoyable to the viewer and also attracted the more uh, the more people who enjoy the music. But he didn't or she, she didn't say why. How does it make it more attractive? How does it make it more enjoyable? But they mentioned why. All of the images were taken from the assets folder, uh, as well as all the images being in. Uh, PNG, under 450 kilobytes, even the audios uh, were MP3 formatted, uh, uh, formats. I added a few images to, uh, by taking the background away to make the background transparent and for it to match the website more efficiently. If you did that, talk about it. If you haven't, then you can't. To, to make my website accessibility uh, featured, I added ALT and text. So you want to say how you uh, made it more accessible to people who may have visual impairments. This person said they did this by using alt text. Uh, so it's not the right wording, but 
it's you know it's it's understandable what they what trying to say is it's a, it's a, it's understanding and understandable to me to my images sorry they've added all text to my images this means when the mouse is hovering over the image the description shows okay which is what they input to themselves so they have made reference to it it's not something they've forgotten about the accessibility feature is something that's always usually mentioned in the a, a client brief so it's unwise not to mention that especially if you're going through the hassle of putting in in the first place also made accessible uh, uh, made accessible by having the contrast of dark color against light in my background yeah i always say try to have the background a white color if you can or light color and the font darker just it's just so much easier to to read if you're re reading this page right now you'll see it's black passing on white it's easy to understand it's no accident it makes it much more easier on eyes and therefore more professional also made accessible by having the contrast of uh, sorry so we talked about that it was also stated to have a constant design through my website i was able to success successfully do this by using template so mention the design said how they done it but they haven't said why okay buttons to the position as well as the color i wanted to make my website consistent why what does it do to make it consistent yes they mentioned to make it consistent he's saying or she's saying they have made it consistent they've said how they made it consistent using the template the buttons but why why is it important so you can see sometimes this person has talked about the why sometimes they didn't requirements of the client brief as well as templates so they talk about the requirements now <coughs> excuse me so we've talked about the audience we talked about some overall features which they basically took from the client brief now they're going through specific bits from the uh, requirements itself in the client brief is stated that the template should include a banner with a suitable image logo and so on and so forth i'm going to stop here now rather than go through the whole item uh, the whole evaluation i'm going to scroll this down a little bit more there we go and i'm going to pause it here no sorry i'm going to let you pause it here and read through it Ask yourself, are they and how much design features are they identifying? How much of those design features are they justifying? So are they saying how they've done it and why? To what end? And then ask yourself, is it justified? Does it make sense? So looking at this, I can see that there's some specifics. There's some numbers here. Okay, what does that mean? There's some text here. What does that mean? Home. You know, there's a lot of things that they are uh, quoting things that they are making very very clear to uh, uh specific to certain items that they want the examiner to you know to understand moving down okay going to stop here and you can help yourself to you know to pre uh, to pause it here as well but i'm going to talk about the improvements now so you can see there's quite a lot there uh but not every single item has been justified not every single item they mentioned. So they mentioned quite a few design uh, features, but they haven't really said how and certainly not why to all of them. Now let's look at the improvements. Now look at how much they've given. They've given this much focus on the first two bullet points. Explain and justify. But for the last bullet points, suggest further improvements, they've only got this little bit here. So let's read through this. To improve our website, I could have included a section at the top right corner in the banner to change the website page into a different language. Fair enough. This means that anyone with a given language can access the website, which means more people are able to come to the shop, which also means more money. Nice mention of what it means to the business, means more business, more profits. Another way I could improve my website is to, where, uh, is to whenever text is highlighted, you can select the option which the text can be read out to you. So again, another form of accessibility feature there, tool. This also means that the blind people uh, bl that blind people are able to access the website, which means more people, which also means more money. So there's two potential improvements there. The question now is, do you believe they're realistic? Do you believe they're justified? Or do you believe there's enough? Now, is there anything here that he or she has specifically men made mention of things that they've done wrong? Uh, is there any weaknesses they've identified here that they could have said, okay, you know what, I made a mistake here, this is what I could have done to this, or I didn't use this space, yeah? It's those specifics. Yes, they've brought in two potential improvements, but is there anything specific here about the work that they've done so far, the work that they actually are presenting to the examiner? I'm going to let you pause for a second, have a think about it. Bear in mind the, the other video, the one previous to this, um, were both one marks out of six what mark would you give to this person out of six? Okay, 
hopefully you've uh, paused and had uh, some time to think about it. Uh, feel free to rewind and go back and read through these pages if you really want to uh, double check them. Um, we've obviously gone through these first few paragraphs together. It's this section here that you might want to read through again. If you think it's a five or a six, okay, just want to keep this in mind. So I'm going to show you the commentary, which is what the examiner basically said about this person's evaluation. First things first, I'm going to show you the actual score. Now, it, I think it's clear to say it's definitely more than a one. But how far up? So you can see, here we go, evaluation is a four. Now, I personally believe that it could have been five or a six if they gave more on the improvements. There just wasn't enough depth, enough detail, enough explanation, and nothing specific about their work. The two points I mentioned here are things that they would like to include, but nothing specific about any weakness that could have been addressed, anything that they could have fixed. So what would be nice for you to do, boys and girls, is at least pick out one or two things that you could, not always have to be, but could class as a weakness. Things that if you had to be picky about, you would change and then say, why? How would that change make it better? Better for who? The company? How? The customers? The target audience? How? But because this person made two general statements that could be applied to any website, you could talk about having uh, a language uh, feature or something, a text to a voice uh, tool on any website, and that could be a general improvement on anyone. There's nothing specific about this person's work here. I could basically copy and paste that into any one of yours, and it 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 would apply. There's nothing that proves that this is unique to this person's work. And that's the way you need to see it. The context is missing. There's nothing there that ties this improvement to this person's website. So let's look at some of the comments from the examiner. So this is an evaluation. So the student has justified a number of design decisions, which is clear in relation to the audience purpose of the site. These include edits to the text, choice of, image, of images, and the amount of text. Much of the content of the evaluation is a description of how the requirements of brief were undertaken rather than evaluative comments about how well these requirements were met. So they said, this is what needs to be done. This is what I've done, rather than how well they've actually done it. So you might say, yes, they've asked me to make four websites, uh, four web pages. I've made four web pages, but were all the pages perfect? What was wrong with those pages and what was good? You, There's nothing wrong with saying, no, you know, I made four pages, which is what they've asked me to do. Uh, however, this page, uh, or these two pages or these three pages, are my strengths in this uh, th this product because of this, 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 and this. And then in improvements, you might say, or you might even say, however, my DJ page could be improved better, which I'll talk about later on in this evaluation. And then when you come to the evaluation, you say, okay, this is what I don't believe I did so well in my DJ page. I could have done this, I could have done that. Uh, by doing these changes, this is how it would have helped the company. This is how it would have attracted the customers, and so on and so forth. Scattered throughout the evaluation, there are enough explanations of the design. So the design decisions are okay, but again, they're not making it specific. But they have justified, uh, sorry, let me say that again. Enough explanation of the design decisions to just justify a mark at the top end of level two, which is the four. The suggestions for further improvements are not far reaching enough, which is what I mentioned. Not enough to meet the level three criteria as they do not clearly explain how they would improve the outcome. And so on a balance, a mark at the top end of level two, four marks is the best fit. Okay, so hopefully this gives you a better understanding as to how you should, uh, uh, you know, uh, approach this task. In the next video, I'm going to show you a template that was actually shared with me, and I'm going to ask you to look at. It's a good basis to basically get your thinking uh, uh, in the right uh, direction uh, when you come to approaching this task in the exam.